Okay, hey, Lollicons. It's so good to see you again. And guess what? Kongming event just released today. And it's going to last for 7 days from now. Of course, today is Sunday on the 11th of August. National Day is just officially over. And then what's next for tomorrow? Hari Raya Haji. And before I say or continue the story from here, I would like to wish all Malays Happy Hari Raya Haji. So currently this little loli here has no voice at all. Look at the way she ties her hair. There's a black cat hairpin with a fan that has the teddy bear logo. Look at how super cute it is. Her size can also compare with other lollies such as Annie. Like those small girls. So if I bring let's say Nurse and the K together, the K is definitely so much tinier than Nurse. <laughs> Look at the smile on her head. Holy cow. I wish those lollicons out there definitely would want to get such lolly. Oh by the way, she's only level 53 so her potential right now that I'm showing you is not really that potent. She is default 3 star and she can be obtained through Kongming event only. Just by spending 5 azure shards which can be obtainable by black cubes. And how you open the black cubes is you go exploration and there's a chance that you'll get yourself the cube materials. She is a middle Rania better girl. Default 3 star and this is how her card looks like. The K. Such cute little Loli. Currently she doesn't have any affinity so the bottom of the K is not there just yet. Anyway, this is the current stats right now. Middle mage able to use the wind but not the master. Okay, okay. She is still young, I understand. But hey, what's the other benefits by obtaining the K? I'm going to show you a table. So at 3 stars, she will increase the drop rate of getting the cube materials when you go exploration. Means you go inside the forest, you do some hunting, you do treasure hunt whatsoever. Like how you go and search for one piece. So at 3 star, you will get extra 5% drop rate on getting the cube materials. At 4 stars, at 15%, at 5 star, is at 30%. And for extra 30 scrolls of the K, you have to spend 4 Azure Shards just for 30 scrolls of the K. But what does the K stands for? Is it the Kardashians? I don't know. Or maybe it's just another name for Kong Ming. I don't know. Kong Ming is the original Loli. And to add it below, right, if you have the KM Moe skins, then they'll reduce the stamina by 10 when you go exploration. Pretty interesting, right? Which means to say that you'll increase more productivity in obtaining the cube materials. That will save you a little bit more money. And diamonds. Well, her uniform is almost the same as the Wing Kong Ming. If you want, I will show you the comparison between the case Ultimate and Kong Ming's Ulti. Win you know. Okay, the skill is called Brambury Mage. It does spell damage and it shoots one one moon or one crescent thingy. It's just one swing. For Kong Ming, her ulti is do this multiple times one, keep blowing one. But this Bambri Mage, she only blows one time. 
And you know what's the good part about it? She blows the front tank forward. So in that sense, because I tried her a few times already, in that sense that this lowly is very good in suppressing the team formation. So if let's say if you use along with Sapphire, use it along with Freya, Sif, Holder, or even Yukimura, you will push the she will push the front better girl forward just by swinging her fan one time. And of course, along the way, she will have 6 seconds of physical damage immunity, which is not so bad. Anyway, it's only temporary shield for her. So maybe I would like to add an elective that increases the shield. Okay, second skill is the Wind Surge. Damages two enemies. And the damage, it depends on the differences between the case HP and the enemy's HP. If the difference is very big, then she will eventually do holy damage. Not as bad as the Wind Combing second skill though. The Wing Kong Ming second skill hits four times, but it's bounced around. Whereas for the second skill for the K, she hits the two fronters better girl. Her damage is not bad to the extent where she can even team up with King. And then her Justice Sword will quickly be activated. Not so bad. Can also use along with Naya. A lot of ways to team up with her. But the only thing is, she's very fragile for a lowly like her. Doesn't have any awakening whatsoever. So, it is just an actual fact. But I know you guys have a lot of questions to ask. A lot of ways that you want to argue that, Hey, but the case is good. The case is not so attractive. I'm not gonna worth I'm not gonna invest so much into the K because she's not so strong. I understand that completely. It's all up to you. Okay, this is a supportive skill, the breeze, third skill. She simply removes debuffs from allies. And the more debuffs she removes, the the higher the heal amount. Sorry, I mean spell penetration. Heal is X amount depending on the skill level. The higher spell penetration, the better. Even if the enemies have higher spell resistance, but at least the spell penetration will be able to pierce through higher spell resistance girls. Wing Guard. Okay. This skill every 8 seconds the wind will start blowing and damage them, knocking the enemies in a random direction. With that said, only when she's present on the battlefield, makes her able to move enemies here and there in disrupting people's formation, the team's formation included. Which can force sometimes sometimes can force the girls to walk here, walk there because she keeps moving people, blowing people. Somehow remind me of a cartoon character from Dragon Ball. So here it is. Okay, let's bring the K to chapter 10. She is now level 53. And I'm gonna bring one, a few. Let's bring for rain. Let's bring Boro. 
Just bring three of them. So she started off with her second skill. Basic attack. And there's her third skill. She's already hitting very hard even though she's only level 52. Look at that. Ow. She's forcing people to move here and there just by using the power of wind. She's blowing the front battle girl to suppress the enemy. Oh, so cute. And I don't know why this Loli is looking for Kratos. But at least you get the the idea on whether you should get a K, how does the K functions, things like that. Okay. So Jiao is in front of Bud L. Look at that. <laughs> Blow the front better girl and she died so easily. Angel really hits very hard. But okay lah, not so bad lah. When it comes to using the K. Okay, I'm at the Kongming Forest here, the event. So I already purchased my the K for 5 Azure. So here it is. 4 shards for 30 scrolls. And now they changed the Moe Vows to 20 dots. And I believe you need 100 pieces for sure. Which means times 5, you need about 10 pieces of Azure Shards. Luckily, last time I bought one piece of the whole KM Moe skins. So it's definitely worth it. For those who didn't get the KM Moe skins, then... A lot of people say, I regret not buying the KM Moe skins during the previous Kongming event. Yeah, I still haven't completed my mission yet just for one stupid cube. So when I explore, my stamina already reduced by 10. Originally, I have to spend 74 stamina to complete the whole thing. Because of the KM Moe skins that I already have it, it reduced by 10. Based on the beginning of the video that I mentioned. That illustration, the moment you first enter this event, they will show you this big illustration. Well, her weakness is most likely crowd control or get slain by assassin. For her strength wise, she is very good at suppressing the enemies and disrupting their formation which is making things easier for girls like Shirley, Hanser or even Muppet to get the job done. So it's all about teamwork already. But for such lowly I think it's worth keeping her as a lowly. Hmm. 
and for all those lolly coins out there you definitely find ways to obtain such lolly or you want to collect such lolly but for those who are not really a lolly coin you find that this is oh this is only for pedo file then i suggest you press the back button who knows that next time they release the blood awakening for kong ming ow and it may get even more expensive or worse still they might release the dark version of the k eventually giving her new skins with the extra benefits behind ow can be kong ming's little sister really or worse still they could be releasing the new book for the k because who knows that the K might be the new matter in the near future. So these are one of the few speculations that I might have. I don't know what you guys think so feel free to comment it below my video. So these are her skills again, these are her stats again. So that's it for the review for now for the K and how to obtain it. If you guys have any opinions regarding the K, do comment it below. If you haven't subscribed it, do subscribe it. And of course, I'll leave it to you guys to decide on whether you should invest some in this cute little lolly. Alright, I'll see you again in the next video. Bye bye and enjoy. Yeah.